Welcome back, series number five of our functional, functional series, and this is our spray bottle series. This one's kind of neat. We're gonna talk about several ways to incorporate your arm into activity. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about weight bearing. Um, what Stacy's gonna do is we're gonna use these water bottles, and I want you to remember that everybody's hand's a little bit different. So again, consult your therapist on ways to, your occupational therapist on ways to incorporate this activity into your rehab. We absolutely love this one. Um, there's all different kinds of water bottles. I think I got a couple of these at the, at the dollar store. You can go anywhere in your house, grab a bottle. And what you're going to do is you're going to weight bear through your affected arm. So the arm that you've been having a little bit of weakness is the arm that you're going to place down. We're going to place it on the table. And what Stacy's going to do is she's going to use the water bottle in her unaffected hand and she's going to spray. Then what she's going to do is continuing to weight bear through your arm, she's going to dry the area. Now, weight bearing, I'm sure everybody has heard this if they've been through rehab, is a great way to decrease um, spasticity or tone. Um, and it also is a great way to improve strength because Stacy's putting her weight through her arm. It's also giving her a little bit of sensory input too, which can be important um, to make sure that you're aware of where your arm is. So Stacy's gonna do that a few more times, a few more times, and Stacy's used to me, but what I always try to remember try to remind her is to give her arm a job. Figure out some way to incorporate her arm into her daily life. And then when she starts to do that, it gets a little bit easier and it gets a little bit, um, you don't have to think as much to figure out how you're going to put that arm into function. So a couple different ways besides just wiping down the table that you can incorporate your arm into function is while you're eating, you can put your arm up on the table. While you're putting away groceries or dishes, you can put your hand on the counter. And you can do that weight bearing, which is important. Um, and depending on where you are in your rehab, you wanna make sure that you're doing all that you can to get your arm involved. The second way that we incorporate the water bottle into function is what we do is we use the hand as a growth stabilizer. You're gonna take the affected hand and you're gonna stabilize the water bottle with that hand and you're gonna use your unaffected hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do some bilateral reaching and you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna squeeze down onto the table and we're gonna wash the table with using two hands. The table is, we're gonna get a lot of cleaning done here, um, which is very important when we're home. We gotta take care of the cooking and we have to take care of the cleaning. So Stacy's doing a great job here too. I also like the way that she's incorporated this hand here. Um, if, she, if you were unable to do that again, you could put the hand back down and you could do some weight bearing, or you could continue to hold the water bottle in that hand. She's gonna bring it back up and we're gonna spray it again. The way that you could change this activity is you could, you could wash windows, you could, depending on your balance and depending on what your functional level is, um, you could put it on different surfaces, which then again would allow you to use different muscles. I'm washing the fridge, I'm going up and down rather than going across the table. That's right. You know, so it's, that's a different group of muscles there. And if you've watched our active assistive range of motion towel exercise, you could be working on those circles, you could be working on that up and down movement, so you do change the way that you're working. So again, it's important that you put two hands into function and a couple other ways that you could do that functionally would be by drinking. So you could use two hands to pick up a cup. You could do it by washing your face, try to get that hand involved that way. Um, I think the most important thing is give your arm a job, something that's safe, something that you are able to do, making sure that you have that range of motion and you're not having any pain when you're completing these activities. The third way that we incorporate this water bottle um, into function is by spraying. I, I actually really um, like this exercise. I'm gonna tell you a little bit how it can be successful. Um, it can be successful in terms that it helps strengthen your fingers. So again, you're working on that pinch. But the other thing is you wanna make sure if you have a lot of um, increased tone in your hand, sometimes it can be difficult for you to open. Well, on these water bottles, the trigger helps you go back into extension. So it's kind of a really cool activity. So Stacy's gonna use, and you can use one finger, you can use two fingers, you can kind of play around with it. Um, and there you go. So again, it's really kind of neat because you're working on strengthening because you have to use the strengthen to get the water. Can I try that bottle? Sure. I wanna see the difference. Some bottles are, are harder to use than others. This one is a little less, a little more resistant, I think. So 
I'm gonna take this bottle back. Okay. So I, you know, I like that Stacy's pointing that out. You want to, and this is just water that we're using here because again, we're trying to get that hand back into function. We're trying to give it a functional task to do where we can be successful. Um, so the other way too, and to build strength too, instead of having to keep wiping down, is you could stand at your countertop or your sink and you could work a little bit on squeezing in there. So I'm gonna have Stacy do it a couple of times. I see that she's just using one finger here. I'm gonna have her squeeze it a few times with one finger, that's fine. Just make sure that these aren't painful. Make sure that you're not in any pain. Um, she's having to work her whole arm here as she holds the bottle. I'm gonna have you wipe that. And if she really wanted to engage that right arm, she could spray with the right arm and then she could do some wiping with the right arm. So maybe we'll have her do that on the next one. So the next one, I want you to put two fingers on there. We'll spray all around. I'll move that bottle. There you go. And that's what we want. You want to have a good feeling that you've worked your muscles. So I'm going to move this and I'm going to have Stacy wipe this. You would be amazed how much strengthening you're gonna get in your hand with a little bit of a resistance that you have by putting that water down. Yes, I can feel it. Washing the table was never this hard before. I think what you'll find too is you stick with this and you continue to work with us, you're gonna find that these activities get easier. Um, what I would recommend is on the table or wherever you choose to do this activity is that you use a guide, you use a target. You could say that, okay, my arm was able to come out this far and now it's able to come out this far. That's a great way to show progress and a great way to show gains. Have fun at home wiping down all your countertops and tables. I'm gonna let Stacy take a break. Thank you very much.